Hello students, secondary to chemistry. Uh, now we are in uh, unit 3, bonds and forms of energy. The lesson now is the valence bond theory, VBT. The valence bond theory supposes that when the two atoms combine with each other to form a covalent bond, an overlapping occurs between the orbitals of both of the two atoms. So the valence bond theory uh, definition is the covalent bond in the molecule which is resulted from the overlap of one atomic orbital in the combined atoms and the rest of the atomic orbitals. The main concepts of valence bond theory uh, are overlapping of orbitals uh, and hybridization uh, process may occur. Now we are discussing these two concepts, overlapping of orbitals and hybridization of orbitals. Uh, to discuss this, we review some important uh, factors. We know we knew that the uh, sublevels uh, of the atom may be S, P, D, or F. The uh, shape, geometrical shape of each sublevel, which contains orbitals. The S sublevel contains one orbital which is spherical in shape. The P uh, orbital, the P sublevel contains three orbitals. Each of them have, each of them have has the same, each of them has the same shape, dumbbell shape, like this one. P, this is PX. The PY is perpendicular, and the PZ. Uh, this is uh, the D uh, sublevel, which has seven orbitals, complex in shape, and the F orbital, con this, uh, F sublevel contains seven orbitals. Uh, each of them is complex in shape. For a bond to uh, form with, uh, between two atoms, covalent bond. The overlap may uh, occur between S and S orbitals of two atoms, like hydrogen. Each hydrogen atom contains one electron in the 1S orbital. So the overlap of the 1S and 1S of two atoms, two separated atoms, when they approach with each other to form a covalent bond, this of, uh, of, uh, overlap between the two atoms and this is the overlapping region between them and this bond is called uh, covalent bond the type here is sigma bond sigma bond means covalent bond which is produced from the uh, head to head overlap like this way this is a strong overlap also the overlap may occur between the S orbital of one atom and the P orbital of the other atoms as in the case of hydrogen fluoride. This is the hydrogen atom, one S of the hydrogen atom, and this is the PX orbital of the fluorine atom which contains seven electrons in the outermost energy level. This is the S orbital, the P orbital of the fluorine, P orbital of the fluorine atom. The, uh, uh, this orbital contains only one electron and the S electron, one S electron from hydrogen atom. This overlap with each other, head to head. This is also a sigma bond. Also overlap, strong overlap may occur between two fluorine atoms, each contains P orbital and P orbital of the other atom. They overlap in this way, head to head overlap in the same axis as that in the, this figure. This also uh, is called sigma bond, which is a strong overlap. Sometimes the overlap occurs between two parallel orbitals, two parallel P orbitals, like PZ and PZ, or PY, PY and PY. Uh, any parallel overlap leads to 
parallel overlap to pi bond, which is a weak overlap, weak overlap between two parallel p orbitals. So there are two types of sigma bo of bonds of covalent bond, sigma bond and pi bond. The pi bond formed as a result of the parallel or collateral overlap of two atomic orbitals and the sigma bond is formed as a result of the head-to-head -head like these shapes, head-to-head -head overlap as along the same axis. Let's have hydrogen for example, hydrogen molecule, how hydrogen molecule is formed to or two atomic orbitals of two atoms, one S electron, one S electron, overlap sigma bond and this is hydrogen molecule and this is a strong overlap. For example, hydrogen fluoride HF H contains one electron and F contains uh, the outermost energy level seven uh, electrons. One of the three orbitals of the P contains only one electron. The overlap occurs between the uh, hydrogen atom, one S electron, and the uh, PX of one of the orbitals of uh, the fluorine atoms. Like this way. This is one for hydrogen and this is the uh, P. Uh, X of uh, the fluorine atom and this is geometrical shape but this is the same way or hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen chloride this is from hydrogen and this is from chlorine uh, PX, PY, PZ this is P one of the P orbitals contains only one electron this will participate with hydrogen atom this is the overlap region this is hydrogen, uh, this is fluorine molecule F and F. This is PX of one uh, fluorine atom, and this is uh, the uh, P orbital, PX orbital of the other fluorine atom, and the head to head overlap along the same axis leads to sigma bond, which is a type of strong covalent bond. This is the nitrogen. The nitrogen uh, atom contains uh, three orbitals uh, half filled, one electron, one electron, one electron. So the three orbitals participate in bond formation. When a uh, nitrogen molecule is formed in two, this is one nitrogen atom, this is one nitrogen atom. These are the three, one, two, three, the three orbitals, Px, Py, Pz, each contains one electron, and this is another similar atom. Uh, this is uh, Apx and Px on the same side, on the same axis. This is a sigma bond, head-to-head -head overlap. The Px, Pz, Pz of the two atoms um, overlap in a parallel way, so pi bond is formed which is a weak overlap and the PZ and PZ are parallel to each other so another pi bond is formed so the molecule is represented as N three bonds and N the three bonds one of them is a sigma uh, covalent bond and the other two bonds are two pi covalent bonds Sigma bond is stronger than pi bond. For methane, for methane, one uh, the outer energy levels of the carbon atoms. This is S, and these are three p orbitals, and this is uh, one S of the one carbon atoms. When uh, four four hydrogen atoms participate with carbon atoms this car hydrogen atom will will not participate here because this is completely filled and this is um, evacuated no electrons here one electron here and one electron here only one and one these are the two electrons here so the formula of methane must be CH2 and not CH4 so, 
this uh, is uh, not happening. A process uh, called hybridization solves this problem. The process of hybridization means a process of overlapping between two different orbitals or more of the same atom to produce a number of new equivalent orbitals called hybridized orbitals. And the hybridization process occurs with a certain conditions. But hybridization occurs between the orbitals of the same atom and uh, between orbitals of close um, energy and hybridized orbitals are having the same shape and the same energy and the angles between them must be small as possible to, uh, to must be greater to minimize the repulsion between their electrons. For example, uh, methane molecule, methane molecule, in methane, one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. How the bonds are formed? The uh, 2s electrons and the 2p orbitals, orbitals of the 2s and orbitals of the 2p are mixed together to form four equivalent hybridized orbitals. They are these unhybridized orbitals are different in shapes and different in energy. After hybridization, another four or new four, uh, four hybridized orbitals are formed called sb3 orbitals sb3 because they are produced from mixing of one s and three orbitals of p so called sb3 each one contains electron electron and how the, these four electrons these two electrons and these two electrons are distributed in this new way each orbital contains only one electron and each orbital hybridized orbital is able to participate in uh, bond formation okay the 1s orbitals doesn't participate or doesn't part uh, share in the hybridization process only the outermost uh, orbitals after mixing the four orbitals these four orbitals having the same shape and equal angles each one uh, participate with one hydrogen atom on the sides these are one 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 four orbitals these are one two three four these are the four orbitals and the angle here is equal to the angle here and here the measure of the angle is 109.5 degrees the geometrical shape is a pyramidal four pyramidal four and this is the uh, methane molecule. Uh, there is another compound called eth uh, ethylene or ethene or ethylene. Ethylene C2H4, not ethane, sorry, it's ethene C2H2 or ethylene. And this compound, two carbon atoms are participating in the molecule uh, each carbon atom participate with uh, one uh, two s orbital and two p orbitals the p y doesn't participate in board formation the p z of each carbon atom overlap with the other carbon atom the p uh, Z of the other carbon atom to form a pi, a pi bond. Here, only one p orbital participate in hybridization with the two uh, s orbital of the carbon atom to form a hybridization called sp hybridization. And the angle here is 180. So the two, com the three compounds. This is methane. This is 
ethylene or ethene this is ethyne or acetylene okay if you compare between the three compounds from the chemical formula this is a chemical formula type of hybridization here's hybridization is sp3 here is sp2 here is here is sp geometrical shape here is pyramidal pyramidal form regular pyramidal form here the uh, geometrical shape is triangle equilateral triangle and here is geometrical shape is a straight line the bonds uh, type of bonds here all the bonds are sigma bonds here uh, sigma bond one sigma bond between two carbon atoms and uh, the other bond is a pi bond here between car the two carbon atoms one sigma bond and two pi bonds the geometrical shape of them is as it presented here thank you for listening